and everyone has to follow the law. Um, no one is above the law. Uh, but we know that the administration's track record on the rule of law is very poor. And everyone has to follow the law. Um, no one is above the law. And we had instead a policy coup in this country. A coup. A policy coup. Some hard-nosed people took over the direction of American policy, and they never bothered to inform the rest of us. I went downstairs. I was leaving the Pentagon, and an officer from the Joint Staff called me into his office and said, I, I want you to know, he said, sir, we're going to attack Iraq. And I said, why? He said, we don't know. He said, uh, I said, well, did they tie Saddam to 9-11? He said, uh, no. And then I came back to the Pentagon about six weeks later. I saw the same officer. I said, why, uh, why haven't we attacked Iraq? Are we still going to attack Iraq? He said, oh, sir. He says, it's worse than that. He said, um, he pulled up a piece of paper off his desk. He said, I just got this memo from the Secretary of Defense's office. It says we're going to attack and destroy the governments in, in seven countries in five years. We're going to start with Iraq, and then we're going to move to Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and Iran. I said, seven, seven countries in five years. I said, is that a classified memo? He said, yes, sir. I said, well, don't show it to me. He was about to show it to me. He said, because I want to talk about it. And I, I, I sat on this information I, for a long time, for about six or eight months. I, I was so stunned by this, I couldn't begin to talk about it. To sort of deter conflict, we're going to invade countries. And, I, 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 you know, my mind was spinning. And uh, I put that aside. It was like a nugget that you hold on to. This country was taken over by a group of people with a policy coup. Wolfowitz and Cheney and Rumsfeld and you could name a half dozen other 
collaborators from the Project for a New American Century, 